diabetic ketoacidosis or BKA is a serious complication of diabetes. Axure is a treatment algorithm for the same. First, here's what we look for. Blood glucose levels above 250 mg per deciliter, ketonemia and metabolic acidosis with a pH lower than 7.3 and bicarbonate levels less than 18 milli equivalents per liter. Once DKA is confirmed, evaluate the severity. Mind DKA would show glucose levels between 250 and 300, pH between 7.3 to 7.2. Moderate DKA would show glucose levels between 300 to 400, and pH between 7.2 to 7.1. Severe DKA would show glucose greater than 400 and pH lower than 7.1. And yes, don't forget to check the patient's vital signs, mental status and hydration levels. First step in the management of DKA is IV fluid. Start with normal saline at 1 to 2 liters per hour. The goal here is to restore circulating volume and improve renal function. Monitor the patient's urine output, electrolytes and mitral signs closely. Once the fluids are started, initiate insulin therapy. Use regular insulin IV infusion with an initial dose of 0.1 units per kilogram per hour. The aim is to reduce blood glucose by 50 to 75 mg per deciliter per hour. If glucose levels are higher than 400 mg per deciliter, consider giving an additional insulin bolus. Electronite management in DKA is crucial, particularly potassium. Replace potassium at 20 to 40 milli equivalents per hour if levels are below 3 to 3.5 milli equivalents per liter. Monitor potassium levels throughout. For phosphate replacement, give 10 to 20 milli equivalents per hour if phosphate drops below 2.5 milligrams per deciliter. Managing acidosis can be tricky. Bicarbonate therapy is controversial but can be considered if the pH drops below 6.9 or in cases of severe acidosis. Continuous monitoring is essential during the treatment. Check vital signs regularly, monitor blood glucose every 1 to 2 hours, keep an eye on electrolytes every 2 to 4 hours along with blood gas analysis. Also track urine output and serum ketone levels to gauge progress. Once glucose levels drop below 200 mg per deciliter and the patient stabilizes, transition to subcutaneous insulin such as gluten or digima. Keep monitoring glucose, electrolytes and ketones. Watch out for further complications. Cerebral edema. This can be treated with mannitol or 3% hypertonic saline, hypokalemia or hypophosphatemia. This can be managed with appropriate potassium and phosphate replacement. If cardiac arrhythmia occurs, monitor and treat accordingly. Finally, before discharging the patient, make sure the DKA has resolved completely. Blood glucose is below 200 and pH is greater than 7.3. Their vital signs should be stable and they should be capable of adequate oral hydration and nutrition. That's the treatment algorithm for diabetic ketoacidosis. I hope this breakdown was helpful. For more medical insights, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Stay informed and stay healthy.